I love my parents a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. And many of you may be wanting to know that suddenly I am starting to talk about I love my parents a lot, a lot, a lot. Why? Yeah, today's topic is related to those special persons who helped us a lot to grow up and are still helping. So, let's not make any kind of delay as I say that. We should not make any kind of delay because a topic, each and every topic is really interesting and we need to know about it very fast. Okay, let's move on to our main discussion. So, parents are very lovable persons of our life. You know what? If you have a parent, if you have parents, then you do not feel that what it feels like to have, do not have any kind of parents. Those who are orphans, they feel it. So, whether you are an orphan or not, you should feel why parents are really special. Why parents are more precious than diamonds, gold, silver, bronze, and, and many, many, many gemstones. So, today I'm going to talk about those special parents and also my special family members. So, let's start. So, family members and parents do not have that much difference, but parents are more special because since our very own birth, they rear us in a really good way. Especially our mother. Our mother gives us birth, but before that she carries us in her womb for at least nine months. So it's really hard to carry a person, carry a human being in the womb for nine months. So you may be thinking that how much sufferings a mother tolerates just to give you birth, just to take you, just to give you a beauty, just to give you a scene of this beautiful world. So we should be thankful to our mom. And you know one thing, the mothers who give birth, they face that their 20 bones are breaking. This feeling happens when they give birth. So have you ever imagined that how much pain, how much harms and hurts a mother has to face while giving birth? So this is a special quality of our mothers. But not only mothers, but also fathers are really special for us. Before our birth, he different. He arranges different kinds of things for us. He buys dresses for us. He gives our mother each and every necessity she needs. And we also get the nutrition from that. And after birth, he earns money. He serves us as well as he can. He serves us the best he can. And he always tries to make us happy. Not only father, but also mother. And not only mother, but also father. Both of them have lots of contributions in our life. Now, many more examples you can include here that how parents are like uh, giving us many kind of opportunities, giving us many kinds of welfares. Listen, parents never, never wish for your bad, but they always wish, always keep wishing for your welfare. My mom always says that in my salat or in my namaj, I never pray for myself, but I pray to Allah that Allah please make my two daughters good human beings. So, your mother keeps praying for you she never gets a chance to keep praying for her and my mother she doesn't get the time to sleep that much because of us she works the whole time for us she does a lot of activities for helping us and she takes me to school she does everything she can for me and she also studies me she also teaches me sometimes because she was a teacher once so her contributions in my life are really really good i just cannot explain in words and my mother left her job because of us because of serving me and my sister and my father is still working he tries to give us each and every comfort we need in our daily life like this dress i'm wearing so suppose i have many more dresses but i asked for my father that father i love this dress and i want it to be mine so he thought that i would be happy wearing this dress i would be happy buying this dress so he bought it for me but do you know how many punjabis or pajamas does my father have does he buy anything for himself rather than us we want something and the parents give us immediately we want something to eat and the parents give us immediately but have we ever given them anything so according to this explanation i have gifted my mom many things i can with the money i raised on my own and i am also willing to do it with my father i have raised a lot of money and i 
I wish him, I wish to buy a Punjabi for him. So, you should also try to gift your parents by your own money. If you're a little child, then no problem. You can give them love. You can adore them. So they will feel really grateful to you and they will pray for you. And parents' prayers are like light for us because they give us the light for knowledge, the light for each and every good quality, and they teach us what good qualities are. So, in this case, parents are incomparable to any good thing in the world and they are a lot precious. And now let's come to the main family members like my grandfather, my grandmother, my uncles, aunts, cousins and other siblings. Like when I was small, my sister also used to feed me sometimes, she used to chain me. And my other family members like my grandmother, my grandfather, they used to teach me to walk, they used to teach me to talk. And my other family members like my aunts and uncles, they also used to do every kind of thing I need and what I need. They give, they have given me that thing the same time. So, for example, my mother was not at home and I was really, really hungry and there was no food at home. So, my aunt or my uncle would suddenly order a food from outside or we would go out for having food. And sometimes like when my mom was out or my father was out, I was alone in the house. Then my old grandfather or my old grandmother, they used to come upstairs, passing the stairs and they used to stay with me the whole day until my mom and dad comes. They used to be like guardians. And also, always my mother tells me that the other guardians, the main guardians you have besides us, besides the parents, are your grandparents. So I never abuse my grandparents and, and I never disrespect them because they are also really respectable. And yeah, they are also like parents because they are the parents of your parents. So you should also respect grandparents and when they become old, they need more company, more love from you. So you should stay with them, you should support them and help them always. Like I love to give them medicines, I like to give them a cup of tea or a glass of water or I like them to serve, I like to serve rice to them. So you can do many kinds of activities for helping your grandparents. So thank you so much everyone. This was all of my discussion about parents and families. Not this only discussion. Their description is incomparable to anything and I'm really speechless at what to say because I cannot compare them in just a few year words and I cannot just describe them in only a few sentences just as I said in this presentation. And yeah, their contribution is an infinite thing, an unlimited thing, and a legend. So thank you so much everyone for watching this video. Please do take care of your grandparents and if you have them and if they are dead already. So you have to pray for them in your prayers so that they can achieve heaven. So thank you everyone for watching this video until the end. Respect your parents, respect people. Bye bye. आपना शानदार आपनार का छे एक टी शॉपनो एक टी प्रोजन मो एक टी बांग्लादेश है देश गौरव प्रोत्साहित प्रतिष्ठित हुए छे बॉस बांग्लादेश ऑनलाइन स्कूल वो शेप फ्यूचर फॉर एडमिशन प्लीज कॉल और एसएमएस टू जीरो वन सिक्स टू जीरो 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 फोर टू डबल जीरो